Hey guys, Larry from Oregon Coast, and uh, it's time for my new hydroponic project. All right, I am going to attempt to grow a pumpkin in this uh, DWC hydroponics. About the first week of April, I started uh, some Dill's Atlantic Giant pumpkin seeds, and it took me a month to get to this uh, this spot right here. It was a uh, very fresh reading. I've never uh, grew pumpkins before. I could not get these things to germinate, and finally somebody told me, just crack the shells like a sunflower seed. Well, I cracked them open, put the seeds back in the wet uh, paper towel, back in the little plastic baggie, and two days later, pow, they sprouted, and I shoved them in these little uh, rock roll cubes. It's May 5th, and I'm transplanting the pumpkin into a little uh, DWC, no air, and I'm just using aquarium water to get the roots grown. I finished my transplant and now I'm just sitting waiting until I get the, um, the roots to grow a little bit bigger so I can transplant them to the five gallon bucket. I like using aquarium water to help get these young plants grown. Um, I've seen some people on videos that um, had not very good results but uh, for me it seems to work pretty good. And plus I think it's safer than uh, adding uh, fertilizer to the water. And the roots are real sensitive and I'm, I'm real cautious about um, burning these young roots. It's May 11th and uh, this pumpkin starting to grow some roots so it's time to transplant this bad boy. For the container I'll be using a 5 gallon bucket and I'm also using a, a 10 inch net pot bucket lid there I purchased from the hydroponic store and, and uh, the lid and the bucket was right around $13 so not too bad. Well I didn't think it was too bad. And for the nutrients, I'm using Maxi Grow from General Hydroponics. It's a 10, 5, 14. And so far, I've had pretty good results first time using it. And there to my right, you can see uh, that black tubing. That'll be the airline. And I got a little, I believe it's right around a 4 inch air stone. So that's all you need right there. And for the medium, I'll be using uh, red lava rock. Here's a picture of the little setup I had going on um, this aquarium water and a uh, Folgers coffee can. That's right around 10 days, 12 days of uh, the soaking in water and the roots are uh, starting to take off there so it's time to transplant it over. I'm getting ready to, to do a transplant here so um, what I came up with, well the only thing I could come up with um, without damaging the roots was just transplanting this 3 inch net cup into the larger uh, 10 inch net, net cup not sure if it's a great idea or a bad idea, but it's the only thing I, I came up with. I've had a few questions on uh, where do I keep my water level at when I first start my plants. And I'm still really new with this hydroponics. Um, I'm still beginner stage. But from what I've seen, well, my experience is I keep the water right where the lowest part of the roots are barely touching it. And it's been my experience that the roots will actually chase the water. So I uh, I do not fill the, the five gallon bucket all the way to the top. So right here I just got a picture of a showing water height that I'll be using. When I first start the buckets, when I first uh, do my first transplanting, I'll actually set the plant and then I'll put water in there and then I'll just get the, the height that I think I need. And then I'll either do like a pencil mark and then I'll dump the water back out especially with this setup here so I mean if you set your water first with the bucket and then you fill it with uh, your uh, lava rock or your hydrogen or whatever you're going to use um, it's going to raise the water level but I just want to show a picture of a uh, I got my water line that I want to use and now I'm going to dump the water out fill it up with lava rock and uh, get some air to this bad boy got this bad boy all transplanted and uh, got the air hooked up squeezed it into my greenhouse and uh I'm definitely running out of room here. But I'm really looking forward to never growing pumpkins before. Um, a little nervous about this one. Yeah, I'm not too sure how this thing's going to turn out, but uh, I'm going to give it a try and uh, see how it turns out. Anyways, I came up with the idea from watching, uh, there's a YouTube channel out there called How To Hydroponics. And he's a really cool guy. Um, 
I watched all his videos probably at least twice and he has about three or four videos on this uh, hydroponic pumpkin growing so this is where I got the idea from and I'll put a link up there above for his channel so if, uh, if you're inter interested in this kind of stuff uh, click on his channel but I'm really uh, not too sure about this so I'm gonna need a lot of luck a lot of luck to get this thing to work out but uh I'm going to try to do an update once a month, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be some hurdles I'm going to have to cross, but it uh, should be interesting anyways. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.